In this video, we're going to look at a couple of different ways that you can export your Power BI data into Excel. We're going to have a look at each one of them and what kind of scenarios in which you'd use them. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So you've created a dashboard, you've shared it to your users, and they now want to export the data that they see. It might be to verify the values that they can see to what they know, or maybe to combine it with the data that they already have. Nevertheless, it's a really unavoidable situation to be in. In most cases, the typical platform of choice when it comes to exporting their data into Power BI is in Excel, just because it's pretty flexible and it's easy to use. So today we're going to have a look at a few different ways that you can do that from Power BI into Excel. So here's a report that I prepared for you today. It's very, very simple and it's only got two visuals. So one is a table, which is just a list of different sales for every single month. And and we have a matrix here, which is just showing the different categories of products and how much were sold in the different years. We're looking at this report currently in the Power BI service. So I have this published in the Power BI service, but I have a version of the same report here in my Power BI desktop. So the first main way that you can export data from Power BI is by using the ellipsis or the more options button, which is enabled to visuals by default unless they are disabled. So if you go to more options here, you will see this option export data, which will basically just export your report or the view that you're seeing into a CSV file in your local machine. Now we can do this, just hit save, and that's your basically your data saved in your local machine. Let's do the same thing for the matrix. If we hit export, again, save the data as a CSV. I'm just gonna add data to there just so that we can distinguish between the two. So I saved it like that just because I want to show you how, or because they are kind of exporting a little bit differently than what you might expect. So on the CSV, if we open up the first one, it just gives you the different months and the sales, the similar way that you see it in Power BI Desktop. So if we just adjust it a little bit, you can see that they are showing the same way. Now, if we close that and we open up the second one, which is the, the matrix, what you can see is that it doesn't export the same way. It actually exports in a flat table. What do I mean by that? So if you look at this table, and you look at the view here, it's not really showing this, it's showing the same data, but it's not showing it in the same way that you're seeing it here in the Power BI report. Now, there is a way for you to get the summarized or the same kind of way that you're seeing it using the export button in the Power BI service. So if I just close this preview here, and let's go quickly to the Power BI service here. And again, if you hover over the visuals and it's not disabled, you will have this more options available. If you go to export data, you will have a different option here. So you will have a data with a current layout or summarized data. Now we're gonna go back to the summarized data in a little bit, but for now, let's go with data with current layout. So if you hit export, uh, it's gonna just ask us to save it. So we're just gonna save it as data three and let's open it and let's see how that looks like. So here, as you can see, it's showing us in the right formats that you see here in Power BI in your reports. So let's go back to the Power BI report in the Power BI desktop because there are a few more ways that you can export data from here. So I'm just going to make some space for it here. And let's go through a few different things that you can do to export data. The first thing is that when you see data here, like in this table, for example, you can just simply right click on any of the information that you see, and you will have this option copy. Now there are a few different things that you can do here. So you can copy value, which just, if you just copy value and just let's paste it on an Excel file. So you'll see it just simply copies the value that you right clicked in that matrix and then just paste it as it is. If we right click again and copy selection. So if you make multiple selections that will copy those selections for you. So for example, if we selected multiple months here and if you are just gonna hold control here to select multiple values, right click, copy, copy selection, and if we paste that in the Excel file here, as you can see, it copies both 
the, the month column and the sales only for those that we have selected uh, at the beginning. The other copy that you have is copy visual, but I'm not sure that will be useful for copying outside of into Excel because what it is is just it copies the visual so that you can paste it in Power BI within the Power BI desktop. So if you copy visual and then you paste, it will basically just create a copy of that visual. So there we go. What's interesting with the copy selection is that if we go back to the matrix and you copy selection on one of these elements, so let's say, let's just right click on this one, copy and then copy selection. If you paste it, what you will see is that it copies not just the value, but also the X and Y axis in the matrix. So it gets the category name as well as which year that belongs to. So that's pretty handy if you're copying data from a matrix. And although we are doing all of this in Power BI Desktop, if your tenant or your report developer has enabled this in Power BI Service, you can do all of this and a little bit more in the Power BI Service. So let me just show you how that works. So if we go back to this report here in the service, if I right click on one of these values and then under copy, you have copy value, copy selection, and you have these two options, copy into an image or image with a caption. Now this is useful if you want to share your visuals into an email to share to someone. And let me just show you quickly how this works. So what it does, as you can see, is it creates a caption or a snapshot of the visual, as well as adds these captions at the bottom so that it adds a link to the Power BI report as well as a timestamp, which is useful if you are someone who works with you know different people and you want them to be able to access the report and for them to know when you took that snapshot. So if we hit copy and I'm just gonna open Outlook here, and if I paste whatever is copied in my clipboard, as you can see, it took a image copy of my matrix. It's added a link, which report it belongs to or which workspace it belongs to and the snapshot. So the timestamp of when I took that. So I think this feature is pretty new because I've never really used it before, but I can see it being pretty useful, especially like with my users. So moving on, Going back to the Power BI desktop view here, we still have a few more options for you to export data, believe it or not. Let's go to the table view, which gives you a preview of your different tables available in your model. If we go to the order, or let's say just example, just the calendar table here, you can see the preview of the calendar table. If you right click on your data or any of these uh, column headers, you can copy the column or copy the whole table, which I found it pretty handy if I'm kind of debugging or trying to kind of understand how the data is composed outside of Power BI. So I might want to do some extra manipulation. This is typically how I do it, especially in Power BI Desktop. Another way that you can export data is from the Power Query Editor. So in Power BI Desktop, if you go to Transform, it will open up the Power Query Editor here, which is again, the tables that you have imported into your model. And then on every table, you have this option on the top left hand side of each of the tables to copy the entire table. So again, I use this quite a lot, especially when I am kind of verifying the data in my queries. And it's especially handy because you can copy the state of the tables as the steps happen. So you might want to copy the table before I remove the columns in this step. So I just go one step up towards navigation and then copy that table and then analyze that in Excel, which is pretty handy. So now let's look at something pretty cool that I found that you can do in Excel, which I didn't know that you could do before. And for some reason, I, it's always been there, I guess, but I've never, never really seen it before. And this is this option, which lets you insert data from a picture. So here we are in Excel. And if I just, let's just create a new sheet here and under insert, under data, you have this option from a picture. Now you can basically import a picture and it will try to get the data from that picture. And so let's have a look at how that works. So let's open up the snipping tool. I'm just gonna snip. Oops. So I'm just going to snip the category this matrix that we have just, we were looking at. 
and let's go back to the Excel here and then let's go to from picture get the picture from my clipboard so what it will do is it will try to analyze the data that it can see on the picture and it will try to kind of fill it in by itself now it's not perfect but it's absolutely better than starting from scratch so i can see this totally being totally useful if i have to kind of recreate a table for example i don't have the option to copy the table but i want to copy it into a data form that i could use i can see that there's a lot of imperfections here that needs to be fixed however it's definitely better than starting from scratch so from here, we just need to simply insert the data. There's a bunch of different errors here. You can review and change them manually. So for example, this one needs to be 53,879.2. We're not gonna go through all of these, but uh, let's just fix that one. And then let's hit insert data insert anyway and there you go so you have your table pretty much like primed so you can start working or doing your you know cleaning up from here or you can clean it from the previous window if you have built access to the data sets that you are pulling from in the power bi service you have a few different options for connecting to that data set and creating a live connection I typically use live connections from Excel into Power BI when I have to create uh, reports that rely on making sure that the output of it is the same or linked to the most recent data or updates in Power BI. So let me show you a few ways that you can create a live connection from Power BI. So the first thing which I mentioned that we're going to go back to is that export button. So if I go back to one of these, so let's go to this table. For example, let's go to export data and then under summarize data, you will have a few different options here of how you want to export the data. But the default is an Excel file with live connection. So let's hit export there and let's preview how this would look like. So I'm just going to call this live. Let's open that file. So as you can see, what is done, it's showing us the data from that table in this sheet called exports and uh, what's different about this is that under the data tab uh, the ribbon up here under queries and connections you will see that there is a connection to the power bi azure so that means that there is a live connection with this excel to the power bi data sets so if the data set on the power bi service updates all you need to do from this excel is basically hit the refresh all button and it will update this table that you're previewing here to what you can see in the Power BI service. Another option that you can use is the Analyze in Excel feature, which you can do or you can get from Power BI service. So the same concept. So let's go back to the Power BI service here. So we have the report here. If you go to Export, you have this option Analyze in Excel. And what it will do is it will generate another file. So I'm just gonna call this Live2. And it will be the exact same setup, except that it exposes the model to you and it automatically kind of lets you use pivot tables. So let's just enable the content here just so that I can show you easier what I mean. So here we go. So as you can see, you have full access to the model and all of the details in that model. So all of the tables, the columns, even the measures. So if you want to, and if you're used to seeing your data in pivot tables in Excel, but not really recreating the data that's already been created in the service, this is another option for you. And that's really it for my list for today. As you can see, there are a bunch of different ways that you can export your data from Power BI into Excel. So I'm pretty sure I missed out a few different ways that you can do so. If you're looking at some more options of how you can export data into Excel, I have created a few videos but using Power Automate that gets your data from those data sets into exported into a SharePoint site or folder. So if you are interested in that kind of solution, go check those videos out. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.